With Frontier spooling up the drives for another year of all things Elite Dangerous in this video we look at what features we know are coming to Elite Dangerous Horizons and Elite Dangerous Odyssey on both consoles and PCs in the weeks and months ahead. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe, remember to click the bell icon and select all notifications and to help directly support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. First out the gate then let's deal with the elephant in the room Elite Dangerous Odyssey on consoles. The known facts about Odyssey on consoles are this. Frontier say publicly on an almost daily basis that Odyssey on consoles is on hold while they focused on the PC experience. That core messaging from Frontier has not changed since David Braben first announced it in July 2021 in a forum post to the community following the troubled launch of Elite Dangerous Odyssey on PC 2 months earlier. To quote David directly quote ...only when we feel that the foundation of the PC release is solid will we be able to relay our console roadmap on top." Unquote. Here at the Burr Pit we obviously watch every twitch, wiggle and quiver from Frontier very very closely and since then Frontier's messaging has remained absolutely consistent and until Frontier changed that messaging that's the current situation. The very second we hear even a mere squeak from Frontier about those plans we'll let you know here on this very channel. Whilst we're discussing things pertinent to all current Elite Dangerous players there is a community goal scheduled to start this week on Thursday the 6th of January that is focused around the Colonia Bridge project that started putting permanently anchored megaships in a line spanning the human settlement void between the bubble and Colonia late last year. This latest community goal which we believe will likely be a haulage focused affair but that's yet to be confirmed will be offering up the much sought after double pre-engineered frameshift drives again that have proven so popular with commanders in previous CGs. After comments from Frontier last time we think it unlikely that these FSDs will be able to accept any further engineering once you have them so no mass manager experimental effects for example but still a double engineered FSD or two is well worth obtaining. Filed loosely under the heading of we don't know when this is coming but everyone needs to be aware that it is is the expected balance pass to ship engineering materials that Frontier began last year when they reached out to the community for focused feedback on some ideas they'd had on how the current model could be improved. Again importantly this is something that will affect all players of Elite Dangerous regardless of what version or platform they are playing on. The general feel of what Frontier pitched when discussing the balance pass previously seemed to centre around predominantly how the materials were gathered rather than the amounts or types of materials needed with possibly different or new content in the game rewarding the materials. We think we're likely to hear more on what to expect sooner rather than later so stay tuned for that. The last 18 months in Elite Dangerous has seen the welcome rebirth of Galnet news and in-game narrative and we know that Frontier plan to continue that glorious trend through 2022. The main plotline at the moment is without a doubt the now long running Azimuth saga that began in the Chuk Chan system way back in October 2020 and is expected to conclude this year. What shape that conclusion will take we obviously have no idea yet but we're keen to find out and again this affects everyone regardless of platform or flavour of Elite Dangerous. Who is Salvation? What are his, her, its motives and what will the Thargoids do as a result of the now multiple beatings they've received at Salvation's hand as a direct result of commanders assistance and choices. I'm 100% positive this will end very well with no bad Xeno feelings whatsoever because that's how the spacefaring devil daisies work right? At the start of December during an FDev livestream there was a question from the assembled chat asking if there was any news on CQC. Community manager Arthur Tolmy responded with the words not yet and gave a very definite knowing look into the camera when saying so. 
So something is coming for CQC then. What shape or form any additions or changes to CQC take we simply have no idea at this point. It was mentioned prior to Odyssey's launch that the expansion would see some sort of CQC component. Whether that reference means a new surface based CQC component or further additions to the existing space centric CQC or perhaps both is as of yet unknown. Whatever the case we look forward to finding out. Anyone who spent any significant time in the current version of CQT at all ...this commander included ...will tell you it's a lot of fun but it's also one of ED's least appreciated features. We often remark here at the Burr Pit that it's a gnat's whisker away from being a really really accessible and fun portion of the game and whilst significant updates to the system have been sparse to say the least FDEV did add the ability to queue for CQC matches into the cockpit of the main games ships so it's clearly still on their radar in some fashion. We dearly love to see the system built upon and we're really hoping that 2022 is the year that finally happens. One of the poster features of the Odyssey launch was to be the merging of the new terrain system into Horizons. Right before Odyssey launched Frontier paused that idea and haven't spoken about it specifically since. When Odyssey launched it became clear that its new terrain system shipped with some problems most notably repetition in planetary surface features ...something never before seen in Horizons and perhaps most notable of all the whole game had been flattened. In Odyssey there are no significantly high mountains or notably deep valleys or steep canyons and it's been noted in most quarters including this channel on a number of occasions that that just doesn't feel right. In October the tiling of planetary features was riding high on the issue tracker and was on one FDEV livestream referenced by community manager Bruce Garrido and his comments made it clear that conversations were happening within Frontier about the terrain and he indeed mentioned that a statement would be made about the issue. Frontier have said that any reworking of the terrain for the entire galaxy is a really big deal as you can no doubt imagine. Obviously the community regardless of how they play the game will be keen to hear any outcome around these internal discussions. Without a shadow of a doubt one of the bigger headliner features which is due early this year in Elite Dangerous Odyssey is the much anticipated fleet carrier interiors that were previewed by Frontier at the tail end of 2021. And if you didn't know already then any commanders currently dealing with on foot engineering and material gathering will be pleased to learn that one of the key features of the carrier interiors is their ability to sell on foot materials to other commanders. Similar to the way carriers introduced the ability to sell commodities to commanders when they were first introduced. Pre Christmas the word from FDEV was that carrier interiors were being delayed slightly but that they were scheduled to be arriving in the game for update 11. If Frontier continue the pattern and schedule of updates that we saw for the majority of last year then by our best guesstimates that means we could see update 10 at the end of January and update 11 as soon as the end of February. We know that following the recent framework updates to NPCs at Odyssey settlements that further additions to the missions that they now give out are in the works adding further depth and variety to those mission options. Frontier have previously mentioned missions that daisy chain or offer more non-combative options. Frontier have also hinted possibly accidentally at NPC SRVs and SRV based missions both of which would seem obvious and welcome additions for something like Odyssey. We also know that new emotes are on the way for the newly installed on foot emote system. We think it likely these will be additions via the ARC store again an obvious win for Frontier for all sorts of reasons. In his statement to the community at the end of last year right before Christmas really kicked in Arthur did make very brief mention of what he called settlement defence missions. I'm keen to get your speculation in the comments below on just what you think that might be all about particularly when coupled with the hints at SRV NPCs perhaps. 
There seem to be some significant updates heading our collective way in Elite Dangerous. We found it interesting that the vast majority of what we uncovered for this report was platform and Elite variant neutral as well. If you're in Horizons or Odyssey most of this stuff is relevant to you. Frontier are clearly not yet done with the previous generation of their space sim poster child. Of the stuff we've talked about here what are you most looking forward to? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.